Hey everyone, welcome to the Clear Cut Classroom where we take deep dives into all things diamonds and jewelry. Today we're gonna to talk about the anatomy of a ring. So all the different parts that make up your beautiful engagement ring. Let's start from the top down. So at the top of your diamond, you are going to have the head. This is the head of the ring that holds your diamond. And the head consists of a few different components. Your diamond is going to sit in a basket with prongs. You can either have four prongs, six prongs, or depending on the shape of your diamonds, three or five. The prongs are those little things that come up and hold your diamond in place. You have a few different options for the type of prongs that you choose. You could have claw prongs, ball prongs, tab prongs, many different choices. That wire that holds your basket together is an essential structural part of the ring, most of the time when there are four prongs involved or three prongs. This is where you can decorate it and add some pave diamonds, which are small little diamonds inset into metal, into this wire, which create the hidden halo. The hidden halo doesn't make your diamond look sparklier or really affect the overall look of your diamond or ring, but it's just a fun way to decorate the structural part and maybe give you a little glimpse or sparkle from the side. Then we're gonna talk about the shank. This is the part of the ring that your diamond sits on. It's kind of, it's the band of your ring, basically. It's the part that goes around your finger. You can sometimes just have a ring that has the head sitting directly on the shank, or sometimes you can have a cathedral setting where there are shoulders coming up from the bottom to the head of the diamond. In that case, there's a bridge underneath that sits right below the head. Doesn't matter which way you prefer, it's more of a stylistic choice. Both are very popular. On the shank, you can add pave diamonds to your band, which are those small diamonds, just like in the hidden halo, inset into the band. We usually recommend going halfway or three quarters down the band, leaving a little bit of metal at the bottom of your shank in case we need to resize. If you want a yellow gold band, we usually recommend the shank being in yellow gold and the head being in a platinum, just because if you set the diamond directly in yellow gold, you may have some of the yellow metal reflecting into your stone. So in order to make sure your diamond is as bright and white as possible, we usually recommend a white metal for the head, but you don't need to do that. If you want a three stone ring, then the side stones will be flanked on either side of your center stone and be sitting in their own little baskets as well. So that is the basic anatomy of a ring. Let me know if you have any questions and let us know what you wanna see next week. Class is dismissed.